Hey everybody and welcome to the first episode of Farmer George's Pepper Catalog. Basically, this is just a new series on all the different peppers that I'm growing in my garden and just a little bit about them. I'm going to show you the peppers, I'm going to show you the plants, I'm going to discuss how long they took to germinate, how long it took from seed to fresh pod, and then I'm going to taste it. That's right, every single one I'm going to taste. I'm going to give you the flavor profile, the heat level, and I'm going to try to rank the heat from uh, zero, meaning no heat, to 10, like this is the hottest pepper that I have. I'm sure I'm going to be saying 11 or 12 sometimes as well. But anyway, without further ado, the first pepper featured on the Farmer George pepper catalog I thought would be appropriate to do the Italian Cayenne. There it is. So this pepper, I started from seed. The reason I call it the Italian Cayenne pepper is because last year I bought these from an Italian gardening store here in Italy uh, that were pre-grown in the greenhouse and they did just fine last year. They grew pretty big. I went ahead and I saved some seeds that I thought were the best peppers. This is what we ended up with. It's a slightly different than the Cayennes I'm used to. Uh, it doesn't really have any corrugated um, compartments. You know, it's more, it's not kind of clamped off. I don't know really how to describe corrugation um, other than you have segments, visible segments in your pepper. This one's more smooth all the way down. This one's four inches, 10 centimeters. They get to be about this size, um, maybe an inch larger, not too much larger than that. And this year I have two cayenne pepper plants growing out there. I'm going to take you out there right now and we'll go take a look at the two plants. Okay, so here we are on the balcony and hidden behind the two chocolate habanero plants, we have the Italian cayenne plants. And what you see here are two plants that were started from seeds that I saved. These were planted indoors on January 17th, 2019. They took 10 days to germinate and today is July 12th, 2019. So about six months later or 23 and a half weeks until this point where you see right here today. The plant is probably up to my waist, so I'm six feet tall, so three and a half feet. Um, and these are indeterminate plants because they're from the uh, capsicum annuum species and that means they can grow like vines so they can grow to be like I don't know seven or eight feet if you let them. The reason that these plants aren't bigger and they didn't start fruit before six months is because I started them indoors and I wanted them to get as bushy as possible so I did uh, pruning indoors and I also plucked off the the buds because this one budded up pretty quickly inside and in order to focus the plant's energy on growing I got rid of the buds and the flowers. So the flowers are just a uh, typical white. There you go, nothing too exciting about that. It just looks like a regular old pepper flower. Uh, we got some buds on this one, so th three or four per node. Lastly, they're going to need full sun, six to eight hours a day. That's why this branch is really branching out. It's trying to get out from behind the chocolate habaneros and get some of that sunlight. This one is branching over towards the tomato plants, trying to get sunlight that way. I'll probably stake it up a little bit higher so it won't be so stunted. Let's go ahead and pick a pepper. Let's pick a big one. one has got a nice little stinger on it. Let's go with this one. Nice and straight. A lot of Cayennes have uh, corrugation. These ones don't. It's a big healthy pepper. Let's go see how it tastes. So now that we're back inside, just wanted to show you it's 10 centimeters or 4 inches long. You probably get one maybe 5 inches or uh, 12 and a half centimeters, but that's pretty much it. That's a typical size we're rocking right there. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like. I'm going to take off the stem. It's got a nice little symmetrical stem. This one isn't as crunchy because I think I let it ripen a little bit too much. Got some seeds out there. And what I like to do when I save my seeds, I put the today's date, I label it, and then I just drop the seeds on the paper 
paper plate and uh, wait for them to dry. So if we take a look at the inside right there, you got a couple of the black seeds which are no good, they're duds. You got the placental tissue running all the way down both sides. Take a little smell. I'm getting over a little cold right now so it's a little tough to smell but it smells sweet, not very floral. So we got a fair amount of seeds in there which is great. The wall is actually it's pretty thick right here um, which is good. Gives it a nice nice texture. Get a lot of bang for your buck per pepper. I'm going to strip out the placental tissue and the seeds and put them on my little plate and let's go ahead and taste it. Alright, so I've stripped out the seeds and the placental tissue. Let's get into this pepper and see how it tastes. It's a big pepper, I don't know if I'm going to eat the whole thing, but we'll see. It tastes like a red bell pepper. The heat, I mean, it's just now starting to set in. It tastes like a spicy bell pepper, which is pretty nice. The thick walls give it that, you know, if you cut up a bell pepper into julienne strips or whatever, you get all that nice sweetness. You get that too from this Italian cayenne. Not too much heat, but I also just bit off the first half of it. So let me uh, let me finish this pepper, and then we'll we'll see how heat really is. <laughs> Like I said before, a little overripe on this one, so it's not as crunchy. But, excuse me. It's got a heat. It's not a builder. Like, with the super hot peppers that I, I'll show you later, the, the heat, like, takes a while to build and build and build. This one's not really building, it's just there. I got a little bit of a lip burn going on. My tongue's pretty warm. The roof of my mouth is pretty warm. I would say this is barely hotter than a jalapeno. I'm getting a little goosebumps. I'm salivating, as you can tell by the way I'm talking. My nose is starting to run. I would say this is a middle of the road pepper out of the peppers that I have in my garden. Well, I'm assuming because this is uh, one of the first ones that I've ripened up this year. Typically, cayenne peppers have 30,000 to 50,000 Scoville heat units. Hotter than a jalapeno, probably half as hot as a habanero. That was actually a very, very tasty pepper. I actually preferred it being slightly over ripened. I think it gave it a lot of sweetness. Just tasted, if you just picture a bell pepper with some heat, it's a very, very nice pepper. The pepper I just ate, I've just saved those seeds. You will be able to get those seeds if you want once I open up shop. But uh, that will be for probably another year. Stay tuned for many more peppers. And as always, let's share and grow together. I'm Farmer George. That was the Italian Cayenne. We'll see you next time.